Hey guys, this is Heldos from Zombieland Gaming, and I am in World of Warcraft 8.0. So there's some kind of interesting things that happened. Uh, they've definitely changed a lot of the classes, and I am going to. This video today is going to be about Destro and Destruction and Affliction Warlocks. Now I, I'm not going to make two separate videos. I'm I'm just going to make one because I want to have this all in one nice, neat little area. Because I, my experience and what I believe is, is that people that have been at Destruction have gone into Affliction and vice versa. There's not a whole lot of demonology going on, so I want to make this uh, just a one-stop shop for all your business and get it all taken care of like that. I'm not going to have any fancy graphics and any pointers and music and all of this business. It's just going to be more a lot of me showing you and talking and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So that's how it is. So one of the things that I discovered is that um, they didn't get rid of uh, marks. So I did all that PvP running around for really nothing. It was entertaining. It was, uh, you know, fun, but the marks are still there, and I will show you what I found um, while I'm riding there. I will tell you that you have to log into each one of your tunes separately to get your new, oh, wrong button, uh, your new honor level. Now, at level 50, um, which I am, you get this lovely, wonderful little courser guy here mount which is really kind of cool i'm sure there's a lot of people that have this guy uh prestigious uh, presti yeah, prestigious ivy courser now that's not to say that i didn't try to get the 350 mounts because you get a frost shard core they have biting there but it's not biting at least in uh, the tool uh, in the tooltip when you go in here because that's what it looks like now as you can see i still have 37 mounts that i have to get really kind of irritating because i really wanted to co come in on this guy but the way that it reads is there it has to be 350 mounts usable by that particular character now there's a lot of mounts here there's 363 of them you're telling me that uh oh just a rough number 50 of them aren't usable i understand alliance in this but i have to go through here today to see which 37 i'm going to be uh banging my head against the computer keyboard to go get now back to this i was wrong they are still taking marks and giving them out but there is a new armor set here so I actually tricked myself into making sure I had all of those just so that I could go grind another 36 marks to get that last set. Why do I say 36? Because I have to get the mail, the cloth, and the plate. Ha ha ha. So, tricked me. Good for me. Okay, so, I'll give a quick little like look of business here. All of this stuff is now over uh, on its own little side, and you have all this business here. It looks real nice and neat. That isn't an actual empty slot. It's not just I don't have anything in there. But that's what that, they made the shop uh, look alive. I haven't looked in here in a real long time, but it looks nice, neat, wonderful, all, wow, go get them, Bob. Okay, so that's that. Um, guild Finder, um, you have to actually type in slash who your guild name, because you can't look up to see who's in your guild. There's apparently some kind of an issue with all the social business yesterday. So there is that. Um... I mean, you could go to your friends list, see who's there, but if you don't have your whole guild on your friends list, well, good luck. Um, they didn't really do much there. Uh, Spellbook, all that business is still there. Okay, so we're getting off to here. Now, I'm not really doing a whole lot with PvP. I picked my talents, blah, 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 there you go. The first one is obviously recognizable from the first three that were in that row now you can just nimbly bimbly pick what you want oh you want that okay cool oh you want that all right cool no i want that so that's what i've picked those are the three that i've picked if you want to read them over pause the video take your time do what you want i haven't turned war mode uh, on yet don't know if i will now what i'm going to be covering is is that um all of this stuff now for your first pick for destruction, for single target, they're saying eradication. For AoE, they are saying flashover. Okay, I suppose. Um, I understand the math behind it. Um, I'm just curious to see if that uh, damage and additional charge of backdraft is going to outdo um, 
that temporary damage. I don't know. I know that I had eradication uh, pre-patch and it always served me well. So I'll probably just do what I'm told. And all the information I've been looking at has been on icy veins, um, just looking at forums, listening to people random talk. I haven't. Uh, I did this last night and I logged in today. So I haven't tested this on any dummies. I don't know. I don't know what the numbers are. I have no add-ons, as you can see, because waiting for them to see if they're updated, which I haven't done yet today also. So it's kind of one of those things that I am just going off of Icy Veins has said and what I've heard other people say. Uh, second pick. Um, for single target, they are going with... Uh, internal combustion for AOE. They're going reverse entropy. Now, I will say this as a note. I am setting up uh, an AOE spec because when I go out to uh, farm and stuff, I want to be ready to roll. I don't want to be running around with a bunch of uh, single target stuff. So that's going to probably actually make these guys still retain their value a little bit um, for people that want to go test this out and raid and get used to their, their business and all that. Uh, row three, I am, uh, they, everybody says hands down burning rush. I like demon skin in PVP. That's fine. Cool story. I could see people using it on bosses. Um, I personally, I don't know. I, I would use it for PVP. I wouldn't use it for raid because I like the shield. I've always used the shield. The shield has never failed me. It saved my life multiple times. Um, because this is definitely a standstill and fire kind of spec. Burning rush, you're, you're, you're using your life. It doesn't turn off automatically. So you don't like use it for three seconds and it turns off. No, you're running around like a madman and your life says doop, 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 and making life harder on the healers. I don't want any business with that. I totally disagree. I'm going with Dark Pact. That's the way it is. So for single target, they're saying Cataclysm. Now, there's a cast time on that guy and a cooldown, but you do 2,263 uh, two, damage when it initially hits. Now, if I'm reading that correctly, and anyone can feel free, Inserient now also hits all enemies near your target for 40% damage and generates one soul shard fragment for each additional enemy hit. That means it's not affecting that that first initial target. Both the, the first and last line indicate it's only going to trigger off of additional targets, so you're not getting the bonus for it. I can understand why they're putting Cataclysm, but I just think the classes now... Uh, I've always believed that classes need less cooldowns and less spells with casting times. I don't know. I guess I guess I'll try it for uh, single target, but uh, whatever, I guess. Okay, I totally agree with this line, too. Um, for single target, they're calling Dark Fury. I don't see how it's going to help you with boss. This is now mainline for de uh, destruction and affliction locks. I know that because I went and checked it out last night. So, that's not going to help you with the boss. That's not going to help you with the boss. This will, though. That definitely will. So, Mortal Coil, I think, would be good for, uh, like, if you're going out soloing. And again, um, that kind of contradicts what I've said, that I'm, I'm setting up for going out, you know, farming AoE. I, I don't see the point to, yeah, you're... you're you're incapacitating one again, 20% of your maximum health. That's cool. That's great. I've never had a problem, though, with drain life. Like, everybody's all on fire. They're burning. Their pants have, you know, melted to, to their legs. They're angry. Their hair is on fire. They're dying. Uh, just hit them with the old, well, you old drain life. Whatever, dude. Uh, Dark Fury, bad. I'm not taking that. I don't want to hear that shit. Um, so, for single target, they are calling Roaring Blaze. For AoE, they are calling uh, Grimoire of Supremacy. While you have an Infernal Active, every uh, Soul Shard you spend increases the damage of your Chaos Bolt by 8%. Now, every Soul Shard you spend, so you're going to get 16% more damage off of that. I like that. I totally get it. I totally agree. Um, Grimoire of Sacrifice, uh, power gaining command of its demon ability and cause you to spell sometimes also deal 440 I always thought that that was decent until I actually tried it out and realized the math just isn't there. Uh, so they're not recommending that. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to play out. 16% um, of that damage, I'm not sure. I mean, is it, it's taking into account probably crit, so it's gonna, the damage is going to increase even more with crit, but then there's that crit too. So... 
I guess for now I will go along with what they're saying and see where it goes. So that means I'm going to have to take that guy. But your Infernal isn't always active. So that guy has a cooldown to it. Again, three minute. And this guy is just passive. So you can't stack the Conflarg's on the same guy because you're going to overwrite it. So you're going to have to tab target and bang, bang, bang. So I, I don't know. I, each one of is each one of those ticks. I would guess is going to have a chance to crit. So it, it eventually could outrun this. So that, I don't know. That's the math. That's where it's going to have to be for now, I guess. And um, for single target, they are recommending soul conduit if and only if you're using this. If you're not, the fall through is to dark soul, which they are also recommending for AOE. Um, I like the way that sounds, and I really want to try that out. Um, but I have the belt. So, obviously, I'm going to have a better chance of getting my shards, which they're saying in right now, the way that this is set up, that if you have the belt, Soul Conduit is going to outrun it. So we'll see. Now, the one thing that I did want to say after making all these picks and setting this up the way that I have set it up. Uh, oh, I will show you my gear so that you can see in case you haven't gone to Armory to check me out. And this is the other thing. Glad I decided to do this. If you notice, equip has the second equip has now been whited out. It's not there. It's great, done, see, have a great day. And if you look at my bar, wondering what those are, look at what that is. Yeah, so, I'm not, I don't like change, in case you haven't been able to tell. I don't like that. I don't like what they did. That 3% is, is a constant now. I get that. Instead of, while the rifts are open, you gain 10% damage. I get that. Okay, I agree. It's probably going to be an increase. I just, I don't know, It, it it's making me a little uneasy. It's, it's driving me up the wall here. Um... And that is a maxed trinket. Um, there's that, and there's that. Uh, not sure if I covered this, but there you go. I haven't gone to the Vindicar to check this business out. I'm imagining that the forge is dead, that there's not anything going on there, no business for you. Um, now, the one thing I will say is that there are probably going to be changes between now and the actual hard release of BFA. I haven't gone to look this next piece of information up, and I don't know if it's true, but on my server last night, they were talking in trade, and apparently for Shadow Priest, for example, uh, Shadow Word Pain, I believe, is now a talent, which means it's yonder way instead of over in Yonk. So, there was supposedly a release by Blizzard that they're going to be uh, working on things and changing it and blah, 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 but for now, that's just the way it is. Which, to me, is very reminiscent of Eon the Idiot running around at the end of Warlords saying, oh, well, you know, we screwed up on Warlocks. Well, for six months, fuck you guys. That's just how it is. It's just, you know, you're just going to have to deal with it. That's really not an answer. I understand it's a work in progress. I understand they have stuff going on. But you didn't think to maybe, oh, I don't know, look at any of the feedback in beta? You didn't think that maybe we shouldn't do this? Now, I'm not a big uh, proponent of Shadow Priest. I despise them because they always target me, and I hate them in PvP. I don't like them. They're arrogant, they're dipshits, and yeah, I play one. So, I don't know, go figure me. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say there. But fighting against them, I don't like them. But I don't think that they should be getting bent over the table. I mean, rogues have, druids have, God knows hunters did all through legions. Every patch, hey, guess what? Relearn to play your tune. Oh, did you spend money on those gems and uh, enchantments? Hey, guess what? Fuck you. Pay me. Go get more. So, yeah, you know, well, especially marksman hunters, at least. I don't like survival. I think they suck. Haven't seen a lot of them, just like demo locks and uh, Beastmasters. Well, ever since BC, in my opinion, they've kept their head down because they don't want to go, you know, to the end of the line again 
and uh, get hard nerfed. So they just kind of keep quiet. They play with their pets, feed them, and, uh, you know, don't really talk to anybody. So anyways, that's the end of that. I digress there a little at the end. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pause the video. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my affliction lock, and we will go from there. And we're back. Here I am with Aleister Crowley. Something else I wanted to show you guys. I knew there was a reason I left him here last night. So, I got lucky on that one. But, I want to show you something. Actually, I can't show you on this one because these guys aren't that far along. So, if you notice, any of your money things, any of your money missions, they are now resource missions. Isn't that nice? I didn't think so because I had five missions out yesterday that was going to get about two, four, six, eight. Uh, I'll call it nine grand. Yeah, I didn't get it yesterday. Thanks, guys. Probably should have read the read to see that that was changing. So ha ha on me. But at the end of the day, it's really kind of crappy that they did that. I guess there's a little bit of butt sore because everybody has been making a fortune on uh, on their tables. But that's not all, folks. There's more. I'm just putting this on this guy because I want him to feel like he's tough. I want him to feel like he's producing for the team. Not that he even really needs it because he's out with me. Makes no sense, I suppose. Now it does sound kind of dumb. All right. We're going to put that over here. You'll notice that I have this in my bag. Yeah, you'll notice it says inactive, and it's grayed. You know why? Yeah, because that's gone. All gone. Bye-bye. Wave goodbye. All done. So, I had three of those guys. Three of my tunes like to do that. That was probably going to be, and there was a mission out there for... Yeah, you see, you can click on her, but you can't even talk to her. So I'm probably going to keep that on this guy in his bank to look at what once was. It'll be like a little memorial to uh, token for uh, what happened. But, um, yeah, there was... There's a money mission out here someplace that was actually worth a decent amount of cash. I don't know. Uh, don't need to go there. Yeah, there was something out here. It, it was a few hundred. I don't know, whatever. So, there's like 500 gold I got cheated out of there. Thanks, guys. Almost 10k. Thank you. Have a great day. Jerks. Okay, so I'm on the affliction lock now. Uh, and even more sad. I'm just not... I don't know. Oh, we'll grab those guys. And we'll come over here like a so. Oh, very nice. All right, I'm not going to put that on him just quite yet. We'll get that. Nope, not that. Oh, I already had some stack. Okay, so. This is what we have going on here, like so. Now, as I said in the, a little bit earlier, um, everybody got Shadow Fury. So there it is. Very nice to see. Happy to see you. Great to see you. We also got a Summon Death Glare. Now, I was under the impression that was demonology uh, talent earlier. So, what is your problem? Do you not like... Oh, look at there. We got Shadow Bolt too. Great. I guess there was too much affliction going on. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so let's get this party started, shall we? So, for single target, they are recommending Death Bolt. Um, I actually like that idea. I'm kind of torn about this one for the AoE. Because uh, uh, damage increase 100% enemies. Blah, 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 blah. Um, if you notice at the number 6 slot on my bar, we have Drain Life. I don't know. I This feels like a throwback. Drains the target soul, causing... Uh, 1119 da shadow damage over 4.4 4. 4 seconds. Damage is increased by 100% against enemies below 20% health. So you double that damage. Generates a soul shard if the target dies during this effect. It feels very much like in vanilla when you had to choose before they com before they uh, combine them. Now they've unseparated them again. I'm not going 
I, I can tell you I'm not going with that for AoE. I realize that Soul Shard generation is very important, and and I haven't play tested this. I, I haven't tried this out yet. Maybe you do need to have it. Obviously, if you take that, you don't have Death Bolt. And if you take it, you saw Shadow Bolt disappear. Because it says so. I don't know. I, I have to test it. But if I can... If you still have a way to gather Soul Shards, I'm going with Death Bolt all the way across. Just for the extra damage. I, I don't know. I, I have to play with it. I haven't played with it. In every aspect, they are calling for Writhe Agony. I can understand that. I, absolute corruption is not a is not even a point. For going out by myself, I will probably just go with Siphon Life. For raiding and instancing, I'll go with Writhe Agony. Um, obviously, because when you're out soloing, bang, 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 you gain up a bunch of health. This actually kind of becomes moot if you're if you're quick enough with with the siphon life and keeping it refreshed again my personal choice i've already expressed my personal choice here but as you can see for affliction i have i'm going to give this a try um i realized i was a very staunch supporter of dark pact earlier but i want to be uh how do you say what are the words you need to use now oh yeah inclusive and i'm going to try demon skin see how that works now for your fourth talent for single they are saying Vile Taint, and I think that that's a pretty good pick. Uh, Phantom Singularity, I think, is one of those things that you want to click on, but you shouldn't, because sowing, Sow the Seeds is going to override it in so many ways, I think. Um, it consumes the life, heals you for 25%. Yeah, I guess if you have everybody in, in PvP or if you're out soloing and they're all grind you're all grinding them up, it would remove the need for this, and then you could just go to Writhe Agony, I guess. But if they're dead, they can't hurt you. Right? Um and for single, they're going with demonic circle. For AoE. They're going with this guy. I don't know. I kind of feel like... I don't know. I, I just... I'm not digging it. I'm not hearing it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be... P well... Actually, I am going to be PvPing, so I'm going to stay there. Okay, so for this guy here... Um, for single target... They are definitely calling for this. Um, for AoE, they're calling for this, I believe. No, yes, 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 they are. Um, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know the science on this, so don't get mad. But I kind of feel like I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if I don't know if that's if if Grimoire Sacrifice is going to outdo Shadow Embrace and Raid. I I don't know. I I don't. I'm not grabbing it. You already have a pile of dots. You have a pile of stuff. In my opinion. Against Destro, you have more utility in Affliction. And I've said this before, that you can dot them up, let them cook, and let it roll. I don't know. I, I like the, the Shadow Embrace is going to pump everything up. I don't know. You're just going to have to wait to see how it, how, it, how it rolls out. And just let it roll from there. Um, in this guy, they are calling for Creeping Death. I can see how that's strong, but for single target, you could try this. 
it all comes down to the cook factor. You're going to have to babysit dots. You have to babysit dots anyways, but it seems like you're going to have to babysit dots either way because they're, they're because they seem like they're going to cook faster there. And I mean, it's just going to make dots cook. So you're going to have to have like you're going to you're going to be you're you're going to need the shards for unstable affi affliction. So there's that, but you're not going to get the shard really unless it dies. So I don't know. There's a lot of changes here that I'm not real clear on, and I guess I'll have to go with that for AOE going out. I may even probably just stick with it for raiding and instancing. Um, that Dark Soul Misery is so tempting, but I don't know. I. It's also part of the reason, taking Creeping Death is also a part of the reason why I'm taking Siphon Soul, because this is, you're going to have to babysit Agony no matter what. But it's going to be a little bit extra damage, but is that damage greater than having that guy on there? I don't know. These are all numbers games, and like I said, I haven't looked them up. I haven't done the hard math on them, but I like Dots. Love them. Let them cook. Let them roll. This is just, the, what you're looking at right now is what I'm going out with. Granted, I took Demonic Circle um, with my Destro Lock because I feel that him bouncing around more, you don't have to bounce around as much with this guy. He's going to be gaining a life. He's going to have, I'm using Siphon Soul, yeah, he's got Drain Life, but these guys are just going to cook and cook and cook and cook. You need to cast with your Destro Lock. So you you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to move around, and I realize that that may sound a little contradictory, but it's it's just what I've always used and what I've always done and how it's always worked for me. You might have different results. You might play differently. This is just what I'm doing. Um, now I did put these guys here. I did put this guy here. Um, I have the death bolt there. If this winds up being a bad pick, I'm gonna switch to Drain Soul, um, which I will document to let you guys know that I made a bad pick. Uh, and that's the way it goes. But I am definitely going to be going out to play today. Um, I want to see how this stuff works. I'm thinking about doing a Hunter for this, and a um, Death Knight tanking, and a Demon Hunter tanking. I don't do very much as far as DPS. I, have, I don't play Havoc. Um, when I did switch over on my Death Knight, I went to Unholy, but with all of these changes, I'm going to have a hard enough time just figuring out what the hell to do with Blood. So, I will say this, uh, I will give just totally off topic real quick, Blood does not seem like it got hit as hard as some of the other classes, uh, and some of the other specs, Blood Death Knight, um... I don't like some of the stuff that they've taken away and some of the choices that, they are, that they're making you make, but I think overall it's the lesser of a bunch of the evils. You're going to notice probably a, a play change, obviously, but it's not going to be as violent or as drastic as some of these other classes and specs. So this was just a video as to what I'm going to be doing and what you could try. Give me your feedback. Tell me I, I made a dumb pick. Tell me it was a good pick. Uh, you know, let me know I, I did something good, I helped you out, I did something bad, I didn't help you at all, and I should probably stop talking to you. But either way, thanks for watching, guys. This is Heldozer for Zombieland Gaming. If you see something you like, please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys again soon.